Hello guys and welcome to the video and this is gonna be more of a laid-back video more of a story time style of video because this is something I've been really wanting to uh, make a video about for a while because I I just can't believe that it's already been a year since I flew to Chicago and met Jen Taylor uh, yeah, Jen Taylor and Steve Downs the voices of Master Chief and Cortana at Outpost Discovery in Chicago it's already been a year I mean maybe you know time flies whenever you're you know going through a pandemic but you know it, it's crazy I can't believe that it, it seems like it was just yesterday Yesterday, but at the same time, it seems like it was so far, so long ago. But I, uh, I, I really wanted to take the time to talk to you guys because there's people who uh, they see my my Twitter occasionally, and they'll see like my profile picture. It's a picture of me with with them and or with Jen Taylor and Steve Downs, and they'd be like, "Oh, you know, hey, you went to Outpost Discovery. You know, what was that like?" And I, I did a video on it as soon as I got back. It's on the channel. Uh, it's about my trip to Outpost Discovery. But I really wanted to talk to you guys about you know what was it like to meet. Steve Downs and Jen Taylor because I, I, as you guys can probably tell, I'm a huge Halo fan. If I think about what was the most influential game that I've ever played in my entire life, it would probably be the first time I ever played Halo Combat Evolved. Completely changed the course of how I, I you know, I looked at games and what I thought games could, you know, potentially be. And uh, you know, I can go into that for forever. But with this video, I just want to really focus what it was like to meet really one of my heroes, you know, in uh, with Steve Downs and Jen Taylor. And really, it, it's a pretty interesting story because like as you are I, I've already mentioned I met them in uh, an outpost discovery it was the big traveling halo event that they did throughout the country last year and I mean it's just crazy to think that you know last year we could go out and do things and now we're all stuck in our houses but you know uh, it was great, and I and I remember I was I was whenever the, we were looking at like some of the promotional material for this event, and they're like, oh, we're gonna have you know laser tag and all this th all this stuff, and I looked up, and the closest one to me is Chicago. I live in Missouri, and so I was like, man, am I really gonna drive? to Chicago for some cool laser tag and to go through the Hall of History and all that stuff. You know, all these really cool things. See, a life-size Master Chief. Really cool stuff, you know. Um, but would I really drive to Chicago for that? But I remember I was walking around downtown in the town where I live. I live in a small town. And uh, my younger brother comes up to me because he and he just tells me, he's like, dude, you know, Jen Taylor and Steve Downs are going to be there and they're going to be giving out autographs. And that just immediately spoke to me because uh, I did a video, um, I think it was when my channel turned one year old. I, g I gave a tour of my office, which, you know, this is just the tip of the iceberg, which you can see in frame. My whole office is like this. It's just covered in all of my, my nerdum, my nerddom, if that's a word. But uh, I, one of the things I collect, you can't see because they're actually behind the camera going above and down the wall, are all of the autographs of people I've met. I've like uh, Kevin Conroy, the voice of Batman, Sean Astin, Sean Bean, the voice actors for uh, uh, Arthur Morgan from Red Dead and John Marston, Super Mario, Marcus Phoenix, uh, ton, a lot of people that I've met and I got their autographs. I love going to Comic-Con, which another sad thing about Pandemic, they just canceled my Comic-Con for this. That was supposed to be, I think, last weekend. So, I mean, that sucks. But e either way, I, uh, I love getting autographs on these... Uh, on like really nice photos, get their autographs, frame them, hang them up on my wall. I have a bunch of them, but I always was was telling people like, man, because I'm a I'm a Microsoft fan. You know, I grew up on Xbox. You know, I, I mean, well, w once I played Combat Evolved in 2001, I switched to Xbox from PlayStation 2, and never looked back. But either way, I uh, I mean, I have a PlayStation 4 now for exclusive Spider-Man. I'm getting off track. Either way, I love Halo. I love collecting these autographs, and I, I had John DiMaggio, who's the voice of Marcus Phoenix in the Gears of War franchise, and also Bender from Futurama, but I have a big Marcus Phoenix up here, uh, that, uh, signed by John DiMaggio, and I was like, man, how cool would it be if I had both Marcus Phoenix's autograph and Master Chief's autograph. It was like they would just compliment each other. I had like the duo of Microsoft badassery, you know. And so I, every time my uh, my local Comic Con in Kansas City would be like, "Hey, give us uh, recommendations on who you want to see," I would always put. Steve Downs. I was like, get a hold of Steve Downs. He does these kinds of things every so often. I would pay a good amount of money to get Steve Downs' autograph. And, uh, it, it, of course, it never happened. But, um, and then they announced uh, that uh, Steve Downs and Jen Taylor, Cortana herself, and Master Chief are both going to be going from uh, Outpost Discovery to each Outpost to uh, give autographs to fans. And I that right there was like, I'm seriously considering going now. I'm seriously considering getting in my car and driving to Chicago so that I can meet these guys and complete my collection. And I, I bought the tickets. 
and I and I, I about a month or two out, I bought the tickets, you know, from the actual event, and I remember being like uh, really nervous because. Um, I bought the tickets before they did the first Outpost Discovery. I believe the first Outpost Discovery was in Miami, and I think Chicago was number two or three. I don't remember which. And uh, I remember whenever they did Miami, because this is the first Outpost Discovery ever. They didn't know how smoothly it was going to go. They didn't know this and that and the other. And uh, they said there was going to be unlimited autographs for everybody who showed up, you know, for, uh, you know, like they would... Steve Downs and Jed Taylor would sign. You know, they, that's what it led to us to believe. If you were there, you were going to get an autograph. And I guess so many people showed up to get these guys' autographs that they were like, okay, um, the uh, for the next place, um, I don't remember where it was. It was Philadelphia. So it went Miami to Philadelphia, or at least I believe it was Miami, but to Philadelphia. And then in Philadelphia, they're like, okay, we're only going to give out uh, like 200 autographs for the first like 200 people that show up. And it was like, that struck record with me. I was like, dude, I've already bought the tickets to go. And not only am I going there, I bought the tickets to Outpost Discovery. I'm flying in for the day. I literally booked a plane ticket with me, my brother, and a friend. You, if you go and watch the video of uh, us going to Outpost Discovery, it's all there. You'll see I filmed the whole day from, the, from getting on the plane to getting there to coming home. Uh, but I literally, we booked a, a day trip from Missouri to Chicago. We leave in the morning, spend all day in Chicago, and be back that night. Like, it's crazy to think that we're like, we're, you know, we're just going to spend the day, like, you know, you might drive up the road and hang out in the next big town, because like I said, I, I grew up in a really, I live in a really small town, but, uh, you know, you'll drive a couple, like, you know, 80 miles to go to a, a bigger town, hang out for the day. It was that mentality, except it involved going to Kansas City, uh, going to KCI, uh, getting on a plane and flying to Chicago and staying there for the day, and hopefully, if you're lucky, meeting one of the, your biggest gaming heroes of all time and getting, like, probably the, the magnum opus autograph for my collection. And that was the, but I was nervous because now I know they're only going to give out 200 autographs. But either way, that's what, you know, we were looking at and we, that's what we were doing. But as I was saying, I was getting worried because, you know, they only were going to give out 200 autographs in Philadelphia and Chicago was after that. And I was like, what if I'm not one of the 200? Either way, the, the Philadelphia uh, outpost discovery goes off and whenever that happens, they, it was even more chaotic and that they even lowered it again. They said that they were only going to give out a hundred autographs and that they were going to be raffled. And I was like, Oh no, I'm not going to get it. I was like, I know, I'm, I just know I'm not going to get it. And, uh, I, I was looking up online, like, you know, is that, are they really enforcing this? And there are people that were saying that, you know, uh, people were really upset, you know, that the main reason I bought it, that they bought a ticket was to get these autographs, uh, you know, and they didn't, they bought these tickets and now it's a raffle, you know, to see whether there's a good chance you're, you're not even going to get it, you know. And uh, they did away with that by the time Chicago started. And so either way, I, I uh, it's, like I said, this is in that video, but uh I, uh, me and my buddies, uh, we all got up at the, the butt crack of dawn and, uh, drove out to KCI and we stayed up all night the night before. I, I remember we, I think we had to be on the road at five and we were up until probably three thirty that night before playing Smash Bros. Ultimate. Oh my, it was, it was, it was bad, but it was, so we get up, we're tired. We get on the road, we drive out to Kansas City International we get on a plane and we land in Chicago and uh, my brother, my older brother, was actually in the military, and he, uh, he, uh, uh, he, so he was in Chicago quite a bit, and I think that's where where he trained, and so he knew a lot about like the local area, and so he knew exactly where we were going. Uh, he knew like great pieces, places to eat, all, all kinds of stuff. So he was kind of like our guide to get to where we were going. We land in Chicago, and uh, we get an Uber, which was actually my first Uber. I have that. Uh, and to this day, that was my only Uber, I believe. I, I rode in one Uber, and it was to go from the uh, O'Hare uh, Airport in Chicago, uh, I, f I forget how many blocks over, to the uh, the big place where Outpost Discovery was. This is a huge, huge event. and uh, but, but we made it! But actually stepping through the doors and entering Outpost Discovery was absolutely phenomenal, but also very stressful because we knew that we were in a hurry to meet Steve Downs and Jen Taylor. They were only going to sign 100 autographs, so we knew we had to come back and see this stuff later. We were on, in a hurry to get over there. But So really all this footage that you're seeing right now is actually after we met Steve Downs and Jen Taylor and we came back and we, we really dove into the rest of this. But I really wanted to show you guys this because really um, all of Outpost Discovery outside of the autographs 
was worth the trip for alone. Seeing the actual Hall of History and seeing a life-size elite, Master Chief Warthog, doing the laser tag, the Halo ring experience. Guys, it was absolutely phenomenal for a Halo fan such as myself, and it was worth the price of a mission for alone. But before we could enjoy all of that stuff, because, I mean, you gotta keep in mind, by the time I mean, we actually got to step foot inside of the, the, the actual event I I was like okay guys don't look at this stuff we there's only they're only gonna take a hundred people we need to you know don't care about this stuff we need to go find wherever we need to be to be in line to meet Steve Downs and Jen Taylor and so where everyone include like was walking into the Hall of History and just being like ooh uh, I was just like nope don't look at it I was like we got it we gotta go I rent I we literally we jogged to the uh, like information center, and I was like, "Where do I need to be?" And nobody knew. Nobody knew what I was talking about. I was like, "You guys, somewhere in this this convention center is the reason we're here." And uh, where do we go? And we talked to three people before someone finally had an idea, and they're like, "Okay, what you have to do is you have to leave the convention center." Uh, leave, leave the event, take these halls up, take this elevator, go up to the ninth floor. I don't, I don't know. It was, it was weird. You had to go far away. Like, I remember, like, as I was walking, like, taking the directions, uh, and we were on our way to where we were supposed to go, I, the, every step I took, I was like, we're, we're getting farther and farther away from where we need to be. I was like, this, uh, we need to stop and ask somebody else. And then out of nowhere, we round a corner, and there's like, I don't know, maybe, maybe... I don't know, 50 people, and they're all got all kinds of Halo stuff, you know, like, uh, Master Chief helmets and boxes, I'm like, these guys, they're all here, because these are the things that they want to get signed, and, uh, I, uh, I was like, cool, we finally made it, I looked, I was like, you know, there's, there's definitely not a hundred people here, uh, we, we made it, and so we go, we get in line, we're happy, and, uh, we're, we're just sitting there waiting, and then, and then my heart broke, it just broke, because a guy comes out, uh, and he was an employee, uh, and he's working this event, and he's like, and he and he made it really clear, he's like, he's been traveling um, with this event since Miami, and so he's like, guys, this is how it's going to go, um, the hundred people that are getting their autographs, they're already gone, they're like, they got in, it's the people, uh, and so yeah, they said the hundred people that are getting their autographs, they're gone. You guys, like me and the other 50 plus people that are standing right here, they're like, you guys are in the overflow line, which is after they do the 100 people, if they have time or if they're feeling up to it, they'll take some of us. And we're like, oh my God. And I think the reason this is, that that happened, because like I said, we got in, we went straight there. Grand, we didn't know exactly where we were going, but we went, we found the information we needed to get to here. My hair is like driving me nuts but uh anyway so we went straight there you know that was our goal and uh we uh we so and he tells us you're in the overflow line there's no guarantee you're going to get an autograph the 100 people that are guaranteed to get their autographs are gone uh i'm if you guys want to stay and try they're like you're welcome to it's probably going to be a, and that was another thing he said it's probably going to be a few hours because it's it's going to take them a long time to sign 100 autographs and I think the reason that that happened like, it was because we went on a Saturday. And uh, the Albalus Discovery actually start. It goes Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I believe the 100 people that got there immediately are the people who went there on Friday and didn't get the autographs that they wanted. So they're like, they, they went there Friday, found out where they needed to go, and then showed up at the butt crack of dawn on Saturday. And they filled, filled it up. And so we, like I said... They, the hundred that are guaranteed are already gone. We, we're they're gone beyond us, and we're standing in this huge room with really tall ceilings and uh, and a and a little line. And they, there's basically no guarantee that we are going to get autographs. And so uh, everyone just sat down on the floor. We all sat there. Uh, everyone was kind of talking to each other. Uh, you know, hey, what are you getting? What are you getting? Um, you know, like everyone's showing each other, like, if we do get to meet them, what are we going to get signed? But I remember uh, me and my crew, we all brought Nintendo Switches. We sat down on the floor. We got we got back to Smash Bros. <laughs> and we just sat there and uh, smashed for, for hours. And every so often, the guy would come out, and I would always call him over. I'm like, hey, bro, you know, I was like, come over here. Uh, what's what's the news, you know, like, where, where do we stand? And he's like, guys, I got good news for you. Um, they, these 100 autographs are going by pretty quick. He's like, I can't promise you that they're going to keep autographing after 100. But if they sign for as long as they did the day before, 
you guys are probably in good shape. And we were like, yes! And, uh, and it was probably another hour later, about an hour after that, the, uh, that guy comes out and he walks. And I kid you not, this was probably the most awful part of this whole thing. Because when we showed up and got into this line, there, like I said, there's maybe 50 of us in that line. But within 10 minutes after we showed up, probably 200 people. Like, we got there right before the dam broke and everyone flooded in. And so we, uh, the, and so after a while, we're, we play Smash for a while, and uh, he comes back out here. He walks, not to me, uh, he walks like right, client, kind of up to me. He passes me, goes behind us about maybe seven people, and then just puts his arm down and goes, Everyone on this side of my arm, you guys le uh, have to leave. They're not going to be able to sign you guys' autographs. And, you know, 150, 160 people left, you know, right there. And that where he cut off was maybe five to ten people behind me. We were in And if you think about what I just said, if we would have showed up two minutes later, we, we wouldn't have made that cutoff line. And even though we were in that cutoff line, that area, um, he, he, there, he made sure to tell us. He's like, there's still no guarantee. But we had to get these people out of here. You guys are still in the maybe. And so we're like, okay, like, whew, you know, we're here. And I remember there's people next to us who were, because uh, we would, we, they had us positioned in a spot where, because uh, uh, we we're in this long hallway, and the hallway turned to the left. And uh, th we knew that th Steve Downs and Jed Taylor were somewhere down there, that they, they, the security guards take people down, and uh, they're coming out really slowly. But pe they positioned us where when people got to meet Steve Downs and Jen Taylor and get their autographs, they had to leave and pass all of us. And so everyone's just kind of watching, and I'm just like, oh, bro, what did you get signed? I saw so many cool Halo collectibles that day get signed. I saw, like, you know, I've never in myself seen... An original uh, Halo Collector's Edition Xbox, like the green one, I saw probably 10 that day. I saw two that day get open, wrapped in plastic, opened up so that they could get Steve Downs and Jed Taylor to sign the Xbox, and then I watched them put it back into the box. Crazy things. Like, I was like, I, I, as a Halo fan, it just, and a, and a collector of Halo, you know, stuff that was like, crazy. I've never been in a place, actually, with more Halo 3 limited edition uh, legendary helmets. <laughs> because that's what, I actually, I wanted to get signed. I wanted to bring my legendary helmet, but, like I said, I uh, I just flew to Chicago. I didn't want to have to carry that helmet all day. Um, but I didn't, and uh, uh, I think I'm going to, like, I'm not sure exactly. I'm going to show you guys what I got signed. I just don't, I'm not sure yet. Uh, I'm still I, I'm still making the video. I'm not sure if I'm going to have it in the thumbnail or if I'm going to have it what, but, or at the end. But either at the end of the video, I'm going to show you guys what I got signed. Spoilers, I got to meet them. But uh, either way, uh, uh, so anyway, we're watching them leave. We're seeing all the stuff. There's people that are literally sitting there with a notebook and pen, and they're like writing down stuff. And they're like, they're literally counting the amount of people that left so that they're like, okay, there's only... Uh, 40 more people before, you know, we, we get to the overflow line. And, like, it was crazy because, I mean, I was nervous, too. I mean, I, I was right there nervous, and I was like, no, I wasn't counting. I was not – I would ask them, I was like, hey, wh what's the count out, bro? You know, and so it, it, was, it was crazy. And so eventually, eventually, the guy comes out. He comes out, and he tells us, he's like, we're going to start taking you five at a time. And like I said, there's still, you know, 40, 50 people ahead of me, but they said, we're going to start taking you guys five at a time and we're going to taking you back to basically go through security. And, uh, so that goes on for a while and finally it's my turn. And what's funny, um, I, the group of people I went with, I went with four people. I went with two brothers and a close friend of mine. And, uh, they, since they're taking us in groups of five, uh, I ended up on, or maybe it was groups of four. It might have been groups of four, but uh, they uh, the line. Or I ended on one group's five. I was their fifth person, and so I and I was at the front of my group of friends, and uh, so they're like, okay, next five people. I was one of them, so I got to go ahead <laughs> of the people I came with, and I was like, see ya, because they even the entire time they just kept on telling us that you still have no guarantee. They could stop signing at any moment, and uh, so as soon as the, like they took me away, I looked back to my the people I came with, and I was like. Like, bye. <laughs> I mean, uh, I mean, we were all pretty, like confident, you know, that we were all gonna get an autograph. But uh, there was a moment there where 
I was like, it's going to be a long flight home if I'm the only one that got an autograph. But, uh, but anyway, uh, we go through security and I've, as I mentioned earlier, I've been to a lot of comic cons. I've been, I've been a lot, I've met a lot of, uh, celebrities. Uh, you know, I, I was actually one thing that's really bummed about this comic con that just got canceled in Kansas city was Troy Baker and Nolan North were going to be there. And, uh, they got canceled, but they're saying a lot of these guys are going to be rescheduled for next year, but either way, either, my point is, I've been to a lot of Comic-Cons, I've met uh, a lot of famous people, uh, and uh, it's, um, this was probably the most security I've ever seen for somebody like this, um, and I mean, what I mean by that was like, uh, when you go to a normal Comic-Con, it's like you go to Celebrity Row or wherever they whatever they call it. It's the area where all the uh, the celebrities are, and they're literally sitting behind tables, like you know. And you just walk, get in line, and that table, that line has like a rotating action where people are getting in and out, and you meet them and shake their hand, and you talk to them. But this was different. This was like, like I said, they're taking us four or five people at a time. They made us stay in the line. They made us empty out our backpacks like you're getting ready to board a plane. They make you see everything that they're that you're showing. They, you know they, they they did the whole pat you down thing, and then uh, uh, they take you uh, like they line you up on this wall, and that's when they do all this stuff. And they 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 tell you this is what you're allowed to you know you're not allowed to say this or ask this. Don't try to touch them. All this all these things you know, and then finally. Um, once they, uh, they took the four of us, or the five of us, however many it was, they moved us down this hall, this really long, dark hall, um, and they had a stand next to this, this set of double white doors. And, um, we are standing there, and then they would open up the door and let us in one at a time. And I was the last of my group of four to go in. And, uh, but the, what I loved about that was that it was finally my turn, and they're like, they, all the security have radios, and they're like, all right. Uh, go on in and so I they open up the doors for me I walk in and I'm in this I remember it was like an orange room big room like a really big room and really tall ceilings uh, and on the other end of the room like I'm talking like 50 feet away is there's nobody else in the room it's just me the security people behind me that open the door and then the two of them sitting at a white table and uh and I just remember being like, man, like you would have thought they would have, I don't know, I thought it was so strange that we're in such a huge room and it's like you go through all the security and then they're like, okay, they push you into this giant room where you have to literally walk towards them for like 15 seconds, you know, <laughs> or, you know, maybe not, I don't know, uh, like, I, like it's a year ago, I don't remember the exact distance, but I remember being like, it took me a while to get to them, and that's, Steve Downs has come at me, and I'm coming at him, and he kind of, you know, and we got out, and he shook my hand, he said, he said, hello, I was starstruck beyond belief, I couldn't stop smiling, uh, I, I thought about in the line what I w wanted to ask him, if I could ask him anything, and I was like, uh, he was just the nicest guy, he was the, he's super nice, super happy, I, I went up, I shook, uh, shook Jen Taylor's hand as well, she was, she was incredible, and, uh, I handed them my, uh, my poster, because I, I got a, I got a poster signed, and then I also got a, uh, Halo 2 limited edition steelbook case signed, and I handed them my, my poster, and, uh, which I'll show you at the end, it just says, you know, Earth will not be the same, and it's like the back art of Halo 2's case, uh, but it's in a poster. I, I, I'm obsessed with collecting these posters you can see over here that are 11 by 17. I have them everywhere. Star Wars over here. But I have 11 by 17 Halo 2 poster that's like, that, that I got signed. And uh, I remember I slid it across the table to them. And, uh, they, they, and uh, Jen Taylor flipped it around. And she looks at it. And she goes... Halo 2, haven't seen that uh, uh, that many of, that much of this. And she said it's usually Halo 3 or Halo Combat Evolved. And uh, I and I just remember that, I, I, that, that stuck in my head. And I, and, uh, I remember I watched uh, Jen Taylor sign, and then she slid it over to uh, Steve Downs. He signed. They asked if I wanted a picture. I said yes. They, uh, a guy comes up from behind me and asks for my phone. I hand him my phone. He takes the photo that I'm probably going to use in my thumbnail or that, that I have on my Twitter, and they just snapped a photo. Uh, you can see on that photo the poster that I got signed. Um, but yeah, uh, we and I, I remember the one question I asked them was because uh, um, Halo Infinite had already been announced for a while, and I, I just asked them. Uh, 
you know, if they'd already recorded their lines for Halo Infinite. And I remember Steve Downs kind of chuckling and goes, oh, no. <laughs> He's like, oh, no. Uh, we haven't, he said that they've read it, like they have it, the, 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 they've been able to read it, and that they've... Because he, he mentioned something along the lines of uh, having the ability to record from home and being able to read it and practice it, but he hasn't recorded it finally. And uh, th- that wouldn't be done until cl- the game was further along. And... Uh, and then I, you know, I said goodbye, and I told him it was great. It was a pleasure to meet them. And then I, I left, and I, I walked out, and uh, that was that. And I, I, I remember like the feeling of like when I came out, I was leaving, and I passed my friends that were getting ready to go in, and I was just like, I, I was cloud nine for the rest of that day. Uh, and if you want to know what the rest of the, because then after we did that, we finally got to go into Outpost Discovery and do the the rest of the stuff that they had to offer and it was it was great uh, i mean but i remember as great and as amazing as as uh, Alpha discovery was which, which it was actually so good that it would have been worth going to alone i didn't expect it to be as great as it was but just starting the day off with just like stress and that we weren't going to meet these guys um, and then it, it worked out, you know, like for people, cause there's a lot of people in that line that got that, you know, didn't make it, you know, they're, they're from Chicago. And it's like to think that, you know, a group of people who aren't from Chicago, who flew in this morning from Missouri, managed to find their way and barely make it to meet these guys. It, it's, it's blown my mind ever since it happened. And, uh, but it worked out, and I I still can't believe how it worked out the way it did. Like I said, if we would have showed up just a couple minutes later, we wouldn't have made the cut. And but we did. We got to meet them. They were awesome. They were super nice. Uh, Jen Taylor was really fun. Steve Downs was as just as super humble dude. Really great. Uh, I got to ask him that question. And the and probably the la- what I'll end this on was I met them. I walked out, I'm holding this poster, and I'm just, I'm marveling uh, that it's done, you know. Uh, Fun note, I didn't have a protective sleeve to put the poster in, uh, in time, because I realized, because my plan was, I was was gonna put the poster inside of a top loader, which are these plastic frames that you see that they're in, uh, but they don't fold. And I was like, I don't want to have to keep this, because I had like a cinch sack uh, that I was carrying with me, I call them sack packs. But, um, I, uh, it wouldn't fit properly. I was afraid that it was going to bend the poster. So I had to make a traveling tube uh, to carry it in. And literally what it was was in a paper towel roll that I uh, that I took and wrapped in a, sh- a shit ton of duct tape. <laughs> and uh, I put a cap on each end. And it looked like what Nicolas Cage stored the Declaration of Independence in. And I rolled up my poster and I put it in there. And I just remember I looked at that after I got it signed. I just looked at the poster and just marveled it. And was kind of shaking it because it was signed with a Sharpie marker. I was like, just wanted to make sure it was dry before I rolled it up. But as I'm getting ready to roll up my poster and slide it into this tube, which I can't believe got through airport security because the damn thing. I actually, I just remembered. It's right here in my desk. Here it is. <laughs> I actually, I completely forgot that I, I didn't plan on showing this, but this is the tube that it traveled in. It's a uh, paper towel piece of cardboard wrapped in duct tape and I cannot believe to this day that this made it through airport security because this looks like a freaking pipe bomb (laughs) if I have first seen one but uh no it's just it's holding a nerdy poster for Steve Downs but uh and Jen Taylor but uh yeah uh it I, I remember I was looking at the autograph making sure it was dry and I look over and I and out of nowhere, I'm like, I'm trying to think of how I want to word this, but uh, out of nowhere, I just look over and over by the restrooms and stuff, and I just see Frank O'Connor. Frank O'Connor, if you know who he is, he's there. He's right there, walking around. And I, I recognized, and I, I was probably the only, my all my friends that knew who he was. I was like, oh my God, that's Frank O'Connor. And there's some other people uh, in the area that recognized him. And I was like, I don't really want to walk up and bother him if he's, uh, you know, and ask him for his autograph because I had a Sharpie. Um, But somebody else recognized him and he was like, oh, yeah, sure, I'll sign. So I just jumped in line. I just jumped in. And so that poster that I have is signed by Jen Taylor, 
Steve Downs, and at the very top, Frank O'Connor, and he even drew, drew the drew the Mr. Chief like caricature on there. And that's it. That and that is probably the coolest collect the co- part of my collection that I have. I I love. I, and that's it. I I then I made sure it was dry, rolled it up, slid it into my pipe bomb tube, threw it in my sack pack, and uh, enjoyed the rest of my day. Got to go to the Hall of History, got to do some laser tag, got to play Halo Reach on PC way before it was actually released. Uh, it was great. Um, probably the uh, not no not probably it was without a doubt the best experience if you're a collector of things you know and there's that crown jewel that you're looking for that you just got to get to complete your collection um or you're like me and you're collecting autographs or figurines because i I collect figures as well but uh finally getting that crown jewel when there's so many uh things that are like making you feel like it's not going to happen like you know every day leading up to Outpost Discovery is like, it's not going to happen. And then finally getting there and getting it and it working out. And then the cherry on top, I met Frank O'Connor after that too. It was just, it's crazy. I can't believe it happened. Uh, I will treasure these, uh, these, um, these, I'm pointing out, they're right here mounted on my wall right now, but, uh, I'll treasure these forever. They're, they're awesome. And I am so glad I got to meet them. And I know I wasn't the only one. Uh, they did Outpost Discovery all over the country. But guys, I would love to hear your stories from Outpost Discovery. What did you how, What did you think? Did you get to meet Steve Downs and Jen Taylor? If you did, let me know down in the comments. What did you get signed? What did you think of them? I, uh, I as you can't tell, I loved it. I, I, this video is running goddamn um, long. <laughs> but um, I uh, once I start talking about this kind of stuff, I can't stop. And so... Here it is, guys. That's it. That's what it was like meeting Steve Downs and Jen Taylor at Outpost Discovery in Chicago. Sorry about that weird cut. I got a phone call in the middle of recording. Had to had to take it. But either way, guys, let me know down in the comments what did you guys think of going to Outpost Discovery? What did you get signed by Steve Downs and Jen Taylor? If you did, what was it like for you? I can't wait to read your guys' responses down in the comments below. But guys, that's all I have for this video. If you liked it, be sure to like it and so that it might help it reach more Halo fans or maybe even more people that went to Outpost Discovery because I would love to hear your guys' stories as well. But like I said, that's all I have and I'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.